Town Manager's report, Mr. Thank Walsh. You, Chris. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, um, I'd just like to take a moment here this evening to uh, thank Arthur Moody uh, for contributing to our collection of accident resolves of the New Hampshire Legislature. Uh, he has provided us with volumes for the years of 1702 through 1828. Oh, wow. He's also filled in a, a void uh, in 1943 for a volume we did not have. So we certainly didn't expect that, but we're very thankful for it. It, it helps us doing research for the town where we need to do that. The uh, James House will be conducting tours on October 11th at 3 p.m. and October 25th at 1 p.m., as well as uh, having spinning and weaving demonstrations. Uh, on October 29th, uh, the Spirit Chasers uh, Paranormal Research Team will present their findings on paranormal <coughs> activities in the James House at 6.30 p.m. in the North Hampton Library. They could so. probably help us. If we can get the spirits going in our direction, maybe we can get some extra work done. Paving operations on Toll Farm Road are complete, with work continuing on roadside cleanup and dress up. Uh, we have some additional uh, work to do on uh, some small work to do on Exeter Road. I, I realize that uh, I received a message today that we had a, a drainage problem at one location that's been corrected. Uh, Public Works has gone up and reinstalled curbing that was there and and that, that particular situation has been taken care of. And I think that's very good. They've been working diligently to try to get that done. Um, and I'm sure the James House will, will like it. I did note today, and I don't know if anybody has brought this to the board's attention, that uh, um, the guest ship that has been grounded at the beach or the marsh uh, is gone. It, had an uh, article in the Hampton it, Union. Yeah, it sailed off to uh, to oblivion. I understand so, uh, and I'm sure that people who are not in town right now would like to know that. So I'm mentioning it. Um, we did receive a letter or a, a request from the uh, uh, the beach commissioners with regards to finishing up uh, the agreement for the fire station property and the the old fire station property, and and that includes uh, putting up a shed the town had promised. And we are proceeding to work on that that uh, application. It's a it's a forty six hundred and twenty nine dollar expense, and we will be doing that sometime this year just to make sure that our contractual agreements are carried out with the, those folks that we have to deal with on a regular basis. Uh, I have not heard anything back from any of the board members on um, the uh, cable contract. I, I did give you. Uh, a list of three potential items that could be done. And I, I really think at some point in time the board has to get together and, and uh, have a meeting strictly, strictly on that and nothing else, just so that we can uh, try to get that done. Uh, the other thing was that I asked the fire chief to take a look at the old Shell gas station at the corner of Winnicott Road and Route 1. Yeah. And he has written a letter. Uh, he found three violations of the NFPA code, and he has written a letter to the uh, uh, the property owners requesting that they take immediate action to correct those code violations. And part of that has to do with the material that's been allowed to grow and collect and, yeah. and, and so forth that's now in danger of catching fire if somebody should uh, yeah. do the wrong thing down there, and he's asking that to be cleaned up. The poor bank next to that. Yes. That's it, Mr. Chairman. Okay, questions for the town manager. Mr. Waddell, Mr. Bridle. Um, I got a, a, a couple. A um, number of weeks ago back, we, we, had a, um, we dealt with um, the Conservation Commission, and they, they had come in and asked about a pay raise for one of their, their, uh, their employee. We also, at that time, received a letter from the tax collector and the yes. town clerk. Um, and rightly so, this board decided to take no action on that. However, I think that we should at least send a letter to the, because they sent a letter to us, I think it's only respectable that we send them back a letter stating that because they are elected officials that we decided not to deal with that. And I would, I would hope that this board would, would, would want to do that. So, I mean, that would be. Okay, does anyone have a problem with that? I think we have a consensus to do that. I okay. don't have a problem with it. And on that, in that line of thought, Rusty, as we're going through the budget, 
I don't want to see us addressing the salaries of the tax collector, the town clerk, the elected officials, only their staffs, because that will be between them and the budget committee. Because we really have no authority over their salaries. Well, we'll, we'll it, wait till we don't right. do it. I mean, that could be in the budget. That's just. But thank you up for bringing them. that up. That's but good. The other other thing is is um, I know you had a preambulation. Is it preambulation? Preambulation. Yes. Per. It's a per. It's not a per. A per. It's a per. Uh, in in Seabrook this week, and if uh, I'm sure we have some coming up from our other towns, and if I have I have two that I'm about to schedule, and I'm going to suggest that. Uh, I pick people up in a car just so we don't miss them. Um, <laughs> uh, the towns of Stratum and Exeter are the next two to right. be done. And I think it's important that I'd like to get as many selectmen there as I can. Okay. I think that's important. Mr. Woolsey, I'm going to pick you up. So uh, when we schedule I've that. I've done all the perambulations of all of the boundaries yeah. over the years. Uh, we'll, we'll get these done this year. And, and uh, I believe the following year we have the remainder, which is Hampton Falls and Northampton. Correct. Okay. Northampton is the easy one. Hampton Falls is not so easy. So, uh, I'm, well, <laughs> you may have to in a couple of cases. Uh, we'll get those scheduled, and I'll let everybody know where they are, and uh, I'm going to pick you up. I need to know in advance yep. because of my schedule. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Um, and we'll, we'll get this thing finished. Good. Excellent. All right. Other than that, it's glad to have you back. Thank you. It's good to be back. It was probably nice for you to go, but we're glad to have you back. Well, it was nice to go, but it was too hot to survive. It was terrible. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Wilson. Uh, Fred, we have a quick claim deed in here, and it's it's very nice, except it doesn't say where the pro I'm, I assume it's by the ocean or something, but it's talking about uh, the uh, the parcel that's given to us in the quick claim deed, but I can't figure out where the land is. Meadow Land, Hampton, New Hampshire, but that doesn't ring a bell with me. So I just, I don't. Is it underwater? I don't. I just don't yeah, know. Where I think that's part of the area that's that's uh, off of um, Ocean Boulevard. As you get out to past Boar's Head. And uh, it's out there on the marsh. Uh, I figured it was. Yeah, it's one of those lots that is there on paper, but you can't find it. Okay. okay. It's all like the owner unknown lots that are out there. Yeah. Uh, well, there are known owners, but we just can't <coughs> find the lot because it's out there in the middle of nowhere. But this removes the, the property from the tax rolls, and at least we clean it up officially. We do, and there is at least two town meeting articles that dictate that the selectmen are to attempt to receive all of those wetland parcels out there okay. and give them to conservation for permanent preservation. So we're clearing the decks and... More or less, yeah. yes. Thank you. Oh, and are not the property liability trust, let's see, are we... Do we have to... Oh, that's okay, that old comes business. up next. Old business. Any yeah. other questions? No, nope, thank what you. What about Fred. all the questions you had for Mr. Welch when he wasn't here? You want to ask those well, now? Well, the questions are all gone yeah. for now. I'll think of them. I'll get some <laughs> more questions for him. I don't want to... Oh, you had plenty when he I wasn't here to answer them. them. I there. thought maybe you'd like the chance to ask him. Mr. Bean. Yes, I would <laughs> like to ask the town manager a question. And uh, given last week's meeting and... Uh, last week's paper uh, as the representative to the budget committee. Uh, there was an email today, and I spoke with Mr. Welch. I, no. I, I believe you were copied, Mr. Griffin. And um, I love the way the, the budget is being presented. And then we've got Warren articles. So there's a dichotomy, and they're two different events. See, Mr. Lapham's here tonight. Uh, the budget chair did uh, request uh, a copy of the warrants. There's millions of dollars of warrants that the voters will get to uh, decide as it's planned now. And there was a request for a copy of the warrants, and I forget the exact draft. Uh, and and right. so yeah. I don't want to get yelled at. I don't want to get fired. Um, and I would like the board uh, and Mr. Welch and you, Mr. Chairman, to communicate how this is going to get back to uh, the budget committee um, so I don't get yelled at. And so there was the request, and I would ask that you and Mr. Welch address that. Thank you. 
if you can. What would you like to say, Mr. Welch? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I knew that was going to make it around the table. I just don't know how. Uh, Mr. Chairman, draft warrant articles are exactly that. They're draft. Uh, unless this board votes to release them, in which case I would say that you intend to put every one of those warrant articles in the warrant. And I'm not going to recommend that you put every one of those warrant articles in the warrant. <coughs> Their, their thought processes, and you need to decide what goes in the budget, what goes into the warrant, and what goes into the trash bin. And I su suggest to you that several need to go in the trash bin. Um, I can't release them because they're drafts. They're not, they're not 91A materials. If we get to the point of starting to release every draft that everybody does, then every piece of paper that the, every board member here writes at home, put a note on, is is fair game and the same with everything that happens in the town hall the rules are that once you accept them then they are public documents you haven't accepted them and I'm not going to foreclose anything you may wish to do with that property um, by saying we should hand them out that's your function not mine I only prepare things that are given to me and try to give them to you and then it's your job to determine whether or not they should be distributed and, and taken as non-draft items. So what's your estimate of when these will be available? You've got another meeting next week. You've got a meeting Wednesday. You have a meeting um, the following Monday to, to, to finish discussing the general discussion on the, on, the, right. on the budget. I would say that when you finish that, you should start the discussion on the warrant articles mm -hmm. to determine what goes in this budget, what doesn't, what goes on to the warrant, and what goes in the trash can. Yeah. Uh, at that point, as you discuss those warrant <coughs> articles and go through them, they are releasable individually as you go through them. And I don't want to hold them back to the budget committee. I understand what the process is. Um, but I, I don't want to hand out warrant articles that are drafts that are never going to be considered mm -hmm. because that may cause a lot of discussion that's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Let's get to the real meat and bones here. And, and actually get the good stuff done and get discussion on the right the right articles. Those that are going to get disposed of, we shouldn't waste our time talking about. Yeah. And so I know that every year that this is a, an issue that comes up. It is. And uh, we're going to do our best to make it go as smoothly as possible. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And just Thank following you. up, Mr. Chairman, if I may, with yeah. the town manager's coming. So uh, I would uh, infer implicitly that uh, explicitly tomorrow you could perhaps send an email uh, to the budget chair and uh, have that response. Okay. If that's, that's what, what you prefer, and yeah. this is the member to the committee, and I just want to, I don't want to get yelled at. If, if that's what the board wants to do, I think it's a practical solution to try to get to things. So we're really discussing, you could probably get 15 or 20 of those articles done in one night, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we can hand them out. Yeah. Yeah. But Mr. I think you need to have first shot at them. Okay, great. Mr. That, that's what I was going to say. This is our working copy. This is our our thoughts, our ideas, what what people are proposing. It's not what's going to come out of the funnel at the end. And I think before we start sending all draft <coughs> paperwork to the Budget Committee, um, we need to look at make sure that this is what we want. You know, because it, it, right now it's just talking. And there's no sense in getting people excited or frustrated because of, of they see all these warrant articles. As the town manager has said, they are just draft version of warrant articles. So until they become regular warrant articles, after we've had our chance, we just got them this week. We haven't even had a chance to talk about them or discuss them. As he said, we may be able, we may want to just uh, totally take some of these out. We may want to put some of them into the budget. But before we start sending them off to the budget committee, let's have that that part of the work done. There's still going to be plenty of time for them to get to them. Plenty of time for them to do it. I just don't think it's important at this time to send them to the budget committee. So do you want a, a motion? Are uh, you looking for a, a consensus or a, or a motion? Or just I'm not looking for anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think a consensus is fine. Okay. I think Very good. Thank you. In Mrs. Wolseley? In years past, the budget committee used to get frustrated at getting word of the Warren article, say, in December or early January, and it, it is tricky when you're putting a budget together. Oh, yeah. There are some things that I'm sure we can dispose of right away, like the police forfeiture fund, big yep. deal. Right. Or maybe the 300000 in the road 
Capital Reserve. Capital Reserve yeah. Fund. So there are probably a couple that we'll be able to shoot off to them within. Oh, I suspect there's more than a couple. Right, but at least there are some that are really non-controversial, standard, boring, boring articles. So I don't have a problem with uh, releasing them in a timely fashion once we've had a chance to review. Thank you. Moving.